What's up everyone? This is Brandon from Top10Gamer.com coming at you today with a look at an $800 gaming PC. We just finished our $650 HTPC build and like that one, we'll be building this one in the future. But for this build, I'm a little bit more conflicted. The reason for that conflict is that I simply don't have enough information about AMD's mantle. We don't have drivers for that yet, but Battlefield 4, I guess you could say DICE recently came out with the mantle renderer uh, that's now available in Battlefield 4. It's a 1.2 gigabyte download, so if you're planning to play this weekend, you better do it now. That is showing some impressive results for lower end CPUs in Battlefield 4, along with some higher end configurations that are very CPU uh, intensive. So unfortunately, we're trying to get ahead here and we're gonna be building these computers in the future. And as I mentioned before, these parts can change as we go along and information like this will definitely help. So for now, so we can move on and keep making videos, I'm just gonna give you two versions of this build. This also really helps because I know there are a lot of people out there that despite the mantle gains would rather have an Intel CPU or Nvidia graphics card for other reasons. Maybe the Intel CPU because of the lower TDP, uh, better uh, single task processing, or maybe for a graphics card, you'd rather go with Nvidia because of something like G-Sync. Okay, for processor, we have the AMD FX8350 and the i5-4430 here. Now, the FX8350, you've got an eight-core CPU that just burns through games, and also we've been promised some pretty heavy optimization for it. On the other side, we have the i5-4430, which is, a, in my opinion, a better uh, CPU in single-threaded tasks. Uh, that's certainly not to say that in something like rendering the FX8350 won't beat out the i5-4430, it certainly will, but there's still a lot of good reasons to have the i5-4430 in terms of, again, single task uh, efficiency and performance and uh, more energy efficiency as well. Okay, for graphics card, you really have two really good options here. You've got the R9-270 and the GTX-660, both really good cards. Probably get a little more performance in a game like Battlefield 4 out of the R9-270. Uh, then again, you're going to get G-Sync with GTX 660 going forward, so it's really up to you. Mantle will probably push R9 270, uh, I would assume, even further past the GTX 660, but you know there might be some Mantle involvement on the part of NVIDIA down the line. That's not completely out of the question, although as of right now, I'm not seeing that. Okay, so for motherboards this month, both of them are gigabyte. It really just has to do with uh, what motherboards happen to be on sale and for a good price this month. I really like the Gigabyte motherboards. Now, of course, for your FX series um, processor, you're gonna need an AM3 Plus motherboard. And for this month, the GA-99FXA-UD3 uh, should be on, on for a good deal. And of course, for your, uh, for your uh, Haswell-based processor, you're gonna need an 1150 motherboard. Uh, this one's a Z87 chipset and it's the GA-Z87-D3HP. Okay, just running through a, a few more components here. For the power supply, we're gonna go with the CX750M, which has a rebate card at Newegg this month, and regularly comes on rebate and making it like 60 bucks, you know, for a 750 watt power supply that's 80 plus efficient and has, uh, and that's modular so you can adjust the cables and everything. It's a really good deal. Now for RAM, we're going with kind of my staple RAM for this category. We're going eight, eight gigabytes of G-Skill Rip Jaws. Uh, for the hard drive, we're going with the uh, 500 gigabyte uh, Western Digital Blue version, but we actually have enough flexibility in this particular build that if you wanna go up to a one terabyte, two terabyte, two terabyte hard drive, it would be within the budget. Now, lastly, we have the case. Okay, so for case, the one that really jumps out at me is the NZXT Guardian 921RB. I've explained a little bit why in my gaming case video, but I also really like the Cooler Master Elite 430 as a slightly less expensive option, it has a nice uh, window panel. Uh, you've got the Half 912, it doesn't have a window panel, but very, very tanky type of case that I've used lots of times in the past, really easy to install. And then you have the Corsair 200R that's been on sale this month for a really good deal. Again, doesn't have a window, but it's up to you. I'm gonna put it to a vote, and I won't have the write-up up the first day of this video, but I will after that and you guys can actually go down to the description below and vote on which of these, as well as the other components that you'd rather have.
Okay, so again, I'm going to be putting my own money into this particular build. We'll be running benchmarks. I want to at least try to put Steam OS and Windows on each of these builds. It's not going to be an exact science because obviously not every game is optimized for the Steam OS as of this point. But I'm really excited to see what kind of benchmarks we get out of a computer like this. I'd love to know your feedback. Go vote for your favorite processor, whether it's the Intel or AMD one here, the NVIDIA or the AMD graphics card option that we have here. Vote for your favorite case. You can do all that in the write-up below, and you can also let me know in the comment section why you voted on a particular option. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. Head over to facebook.com slash top10gamer if you'd like to get to know me better, if you have any questions about PC building, or if you just want to share uh, technology information. You know, I, I try to put everything that I read, all the research I do, uh, as soon as I get it on that uh, page so it allows you to get to things just a little bit quicker again like and subscribe the more likes and subscribes that we get the bigger this thing can get and uh, I'm hoping it gets really big hopefully you are too I'm already starting to get some partnership offers not sure I'm gonna take them we'll see where that heads and where that goes but again we'll see you next time <laughs>